What's up people, this is Vishal and I'm back with another code long session. It's been a while but we have another interesting problem to solve. So get your laptops out and let's go. So let's look at the problem now. So we have a question here which says write a polyfill for a document dot get element by class. So for people who don't know what a polyfill is, so polyfill is nothing but your own implementation of a function to make sure that your website runs at uh, on every browser and uh, any other platform. So let's say, for example, uh, document.getElementById is uh, available in Chrome and Firefox, but let's say it is not available in Opera, then uh, we will have to create our own utility uh, and use that utility so that my website or my code functions the way it has to on any of the platforms. Now the people who want to try this uh, problem on their own, uh, you can pause the video right here and uh, get back uh, to the video again and uh, we'll look at the solution together. And the people who want to code along with me, please uh, stick around and uh, let's look at the solution. So before we uh, get into the code, let's look at few things. So let's look at our index.html. So in my index.html, I have a bunch of uh, DOM elements and uh, some of them are having a class called wanted and this is the class which I want to basically uh, search for um, and we are importing the uh, script our, uh, our JS file which is find by class.js which is nothing but our uh, JS file where we are going to write our code. Um, now uh, coming to the console, um, let's uh, try out a few things on our console. So uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, see this. So um, let test equal to a1, b2, and c is a function which is uh, nothing but just going to write console.log this. So we have an object which has a, b, and c as the key, and c is a, a function which is going to console log this. Um, let's see what happens when we call that function. So when I call that function test.c, so you'll see that uh, it is printing the same object, which is test. Let's uh, do something else as well. So we'll do test, um, let test2 equal to, we'll create a, a clone of our test plus d, which is 4, okay? Now what happens when I say test2.c? So you'll notice that this keyword is holding the scope of the object, which is calling the function. So uh, in this, we saw that, uh, that this is holding the reference of test object. And when we created a, a copy of uh, the test and added another key D4, uh, and when we called uh, test2.c, that time uh, the, this was holding the reference of test2 instead of test. So. Uh, Keep this in mind, we know one thing now. So in an object, if we try to uh, call a function and uh, we try to log this keyword, we'll see that the uh, reference is equal to the same object. Okay, now uh, what happens with uh, uh, document? So document is going to react in the same way. So let's say if I add document dot uh, find by class equal to function, which is going to console log the result uh, this right now console dot log of this okay so when I call this function you'll see that this is printing the same thing what uh, the document object is holding okay so having these things cleared now uh, let's head into the code and uh, utilize the same uh, ideas that we learned just now. So first we need to do, what we need to do is uh, create a function document. So instead of get element by class, we'll be creating a function called find my class or uh, let's call it find by class. And uh, we'll assign it to a function. Okay. Now we know that this keyword in this function is going to hold the information that is there in the document. So let's create our lookup which is const root equal to this dot body. Okay, so quickly let's go to our uh, console and see document dot body. What is, it is basically returning the body tag of our uh, HTML document. Okay, so 
when we do this dot body the root is going to hold the reference of our uh, body tag okay now all we need to do is uh, traverse through this entire tree which is a uh, uh, div and a lot more uh, uh, elements so we'll be traversing through this entire tree by depth and uh, see where whether which element has the class and return that element and store it into an array just like our get element by class does so we return we get an array of all the elements which is having which are uh, which are having those class so we now have a root which is pointing towards the body now we need to traverse and one more thing that we are missing in our uh, function right now is the required class so we need to pass the input of the class that we are looking for so let's call it uh, required class okay now <clears throat> now all we need to do is uh, loop over the body so let's see how we can do it so if i try to uh, loop over this um, this function we will you will notice that um, for looping into for getting into each of the element i'll have to change the uh, the declaration of my function so uh, the function is currently expecting only one class but when i want to traverse via recursion i'll have to pass the new element every time to the function so i currently don't want to do that so let's uh, create a function inside this function we'll call it search which will take our uh, nodes the nodes are nothing but your each of the elements and uh, for calling this function we'll have search uh, for initial call we'll pass it as root the node will be root which is document dot body so we have document dot body inside the search now uh, all we need to do is uh, run our recursion on <clears throat> on each of these these nodes so right now we are at document dot body so first get the basics out uh, we know that our result is going to be an array of uh, elements so we'll create a result as array and uh, we will return the result okay now we need to loop over our element so uh, quickly just for the reference let's go to the uh, uh, console again and we already have written document dot body let's try what happens when document dot body dot children when we try to access document dot body dot children so we you can see that we are able to get the list of all the uh, child elements which are there under the body so this the same thing dot children works on any other element so if i say document dot blah dot children and uh, uh, children then it is going to list out all the uh, all the elements that are there under the blah element so uh, this is going to uh, basically give me a list so taking this knowledge and implementing over here so we know that node dot children is going to return an array so it's it is an iterable so we can use our for of loop again so for we'll call um, const element of node dot children okay so we have our loop ready and uh, in this loop now what we need to do is um, for now let's not think much and uh, let's say result equal to result dot concat and uh, we will call the same recursive function and we will pass our element okay so this time we are not passing node uh, this time we are passing element so the next element which is becoming in the second iteration becomes the node and we go on uh, checking whether uh, this has children and if it has children we keep looping over those children now uh, this is uh, I think this is going to uh, cover everything like all the elements that we have by our recursion but we don't have a breaking condition of the loop and uh, uh, that condition is when when we basically uh, find our required class that time we need to return the result right so uh, and we will have a condition over here if um so we have node dot so in our dom if you do class list it is going to return the list of class in that we have a function called contains and we will search for the uh class that we want to search so which is required required class okay so if the node uh, dot class list contains my required class i want to return that node right so we'll just write return node 
okay so this is my breaking condition so if if i found the class we will just uh, return that node and uh, now if you look at our loop over here so we are returning the node which is going to get concatenated with the result and at the end we are returning the result so i think uh, this should work so required class is uh, also like getting the reference from the parent which is uh, the outer function required class so i don't need, really need to pass the required class again in this function um, okay so uh, one thing that is missing over here is once our uh, result is computed we are not returning it so let's return the search result yeah so let's try it out so head on to our browser hit a refresh and uh, in our document dot find by class we can pass wanted so you can see that it returns all the uh, dom elements with the class wanted let's quickly uh, do document dot get element by class as well and uh, pass a wanted again and you'll notice that it is also returning me a iterable which is having the same set of uh, uh, elements so basically uh, our code is working fine and uh, that's it for this, this solution guys i hope you like this uh, uh, problem and uh, please like my video and uh, provide me feedback in the comments and uh, subscribe to my channel for more such code alongs in the future we will be covering more of these problems and uh, more of uh, the front-end engineering topics so thank you